Hello. A very good morning to all of you. Today we are going to discuss uh, the question which was asked for the real IELTS examination on 11th of June for computer-based tests. Uh, some people think that only staff who worked in a company for a long time should be promoted to a higher position. What is your opinion? So, so it's an opinion question. So the question asks you that only those who worked for a company for a long time should be promoted to a higher position. This means others, there are people who are promoted in the company and uh, there are various factors which the employers consider when uh, giving an employee a promotion. But here in this particular viewpoint, some people suggest that only those who work for long time should be considered for such promotions. Do you agree or disagree? And this is the question actually. This was asked around uh, thrice earlier for the real IELTS examination, both in computer-based test and pen and paper test. So let us go ahead and see how can we answer this particular question? It is argued that the only factor which has to be considered for promotion is a long span of work. So what we did in the first sentence is just we have rephrased what we have seen in the statement part of the question, which is the statement part of the question. Here, this is the statement part of the question. And this statement part of the question is rephrased here. But we have not copied the matter. We just rephrased it. We, we made the structure different. And here in the second sentence of my introduction, I have said my opinion. And this opinion is very clear and it has to be explained in the coming paragraphs. So what we have to write in this second line of this introduction and whatever it may be, it has to be expanded in the body paragraphs. So we call it a thesis statement. So the core of what we are going to write in the essay and this is an indication what you are going to write in the coming paragraphs. So this is the indication. What you are going to write. Although this can be considered as one of the factors, I do not feel that it should be the only one when considering an employee's promotion. So I cannot consider it as the only one. It can be considered as one of the factors. Definitely, this can be considered as one of the factors. But I don't align with the viewpoint that this should be the only criterion to consider when you promote an employee in a company. So this is what my clear cut opinion is. <clears throat> now let us move ahead. The reason for what you have said. You have said it should not be the only one. It should not be the only factor which has to be considered. One of the main reasons why I cannot agree to the notion. So you have to understand some phrases there. So this phrase shows it is a general sentence. It's not a personal sentence. It's a general statement. 
this sentence is a general statement and i do not feel this shows this is a personal statement so i have separated the personal statement and the general statement and when you look at the connection you have used the connective although so both the sentences are connected so the first sentence is connected to the second sentence using the phrase although now again yes again i am writing one of the main reasons i'm going to continue one of the main reasons so it gives you indication that you are going to write multiple reasons for this thing i do not feel it should not be the only one so one of the main reasons which i cannot agree to the notion is because of the existence of uh, more relevant factors which employers consider for promoting their employees so instead of this one of the main reasons if i go with a another phrase um to begin to begin i uh, the to begin i cannot agree to the notion the the reason the reason sorry why i cannot agree the the only reason why i cannot agree to the notion so this is the only reason why i cannot agree to the notion is because of the existence of more relevant factors which the employees consider for promoting their employees and this is the only reason i'm giving only one reason here and what is the reason and that is because of the existence of more relevant factors which the employers consider for promoting their employees one such factor is the productivity of the employee so here i have used some phrases look at that to begin so this is a starting phrase of the paragraph the only reason why i cannot agree so it's connected to the previous sentence here i can have said one such factor it means there are more relevant factors so it's connected there now it's explained that to be precise it's, it's, it's explaining the previous sentence today's employees are very keen in assessing the work efficiency of their staff and this is evaluated on a regular basis so <clears throat> i if i if i see this thing regular evaluation is done and uh, the performance of the employees assessed naturally the best performers are re rewarded by means of incentives and promotions 
For example, it is often seen that employees who have skills like swift problem solving and communicative skills, and those who have innovative ideas as, are promoted faster than an experienced staff who has a decade's experience. Now let's have some editing there. So I have the meaning there. So I need to trim this paragraph. So let's go ahead from this point. One such factor is the productivity of the employee. And we have uh, some lax explanations here. So this area I need to concentrate. I need to make it more formal. So how can I make it more formal and make the paragraph trim? This is what we are going to do. To be precise, unlike the past, today's employees are very keen and keen, are keen, are very keen in assessing the work efficiency of their tasks. And this is evaluated on a regular basis. Okay, no. Now I have. to delete this particular sentence because the example is there to ex explain what we have said. For instance, it is often seen that employees who have skills, who have Swiss problem solving and communicative skills, and those who have innovative ideas <coughs> are promoted faster than <coughs> a staff who has a decade's experience. Now I have reduced the size of the paragraph. It, is now looking better, but the meaning has not changed. The message is still there, but I have not over explained my point. So what was the problem there? I made the point and I have given explanation in excess. So what we did now is that we have selected some the points, okay, this, these sentences will work out. These uh, sentences are uh, strong enough to give the message selected. That's it. <clears throat> now, let's go with the second factor. One such factor. Here is one such factor. Another factor here, the connection is. Another factor which is considered for the promotion is the acquisition of professional skills. I have added two uh, particular words there. Another factor which is generally considered, I'm not telling it is, it is considered, generally, commonly considered for the promotion today means at present. So we are talking about at present. It's a, is the acquisition of professional skills, both theoretical and practical. To be clearer, an employee who has an advanced degree in specialized field is usually considered above an experienced staff who has just a university degree. That's it. <clears throat> Periodical upgradation of professional skills by means of constant training is also seen rewarded by promotions. So one more thing is there is the periodical upgradation of professional skills by means of constant training. So this is also seen rewarded by promotions. 
So what we have say here, it's the existence of more relevant factors. More relevant factors. <clears throat> So employers consider these factors more important than the longer tenure. This is what. One is the productivity of the employee. Second thing is the professional skills of the employee. And the third is the constant upgradation of the skills by the employee. All these things are there. Two things are explained. Another one is just listed it down. Now let's see the next paragraph. I have to admit that the experience of an employee can be hardly neglected as this can affect the goodwill of the firm adversely. So if I am neglecting the experience of an employee, now you can see that the the company's goodwill is going to get affected. It is a responsibility of the company to recognize the service and efforts which an employee has been delivering for a longer span of time. So it is a responsibility of the company to recognize the service and efforts. So this particular employee must have delivered the service to another company. But he didn't do that. He stayed with the company all through the years and worked for the company. So definitely this has to be considered. You need to recognize the efforts. You need to recognize the persistency of the, uh, of the employee. So if you don't do, it will, it will negatively affect the goodwill of the company. And this is what we have said in the next paragraph. Now, the last, to conclude, it is clear, it is clear that a person's long span of service has to be considered as a factor of promotion. However, the modern employment sector is more competitive and this has made other factors to equal i don't need this to me. other factors equal or more important than this factor now hmm. I have not mentioned it is equally important. I have said it is more important. So I just go ahead with more important. I don't want that equal important. So I have made an editing there too, because in the paragraph I have said it is more important today. So I have focused on the modern employment sector. So the modern employment sector, sorry. The modern employment sector, how we have said in the first paragraph, I have said, unlike the past, you can see there, we are talking about unlike the past, today's employers. So we are dealing with today. Again, we are dealing with today in the second paragraph, Promotion today is the acquisition of professional skills. Now, these two things we have said as the time frame is present. It's it was very different from the past. You have said unlike the past. So it's different. It was different. The condition is different today than what was that in the past this is what we have seen so modern employment sector what is more important we have other factors more important than experience so this is what we have said in the essay and the essay is sold thank you all have a nice day thank you